but welcome to Southern Math. Oh, question? Yeah, uh, no, more of a fact. Uh, math is just math. Give me a, a couple reasons why you think that. Well, uh, numbers are pretty much the same everywhere. I mean, one plus one is always gonna be two. Go on. With what? There's, there's nothing left to say. Yeah, but I asked for a couple reasons and you only gave me two. Yeah, that's literally what a couple is. It's just, okay, never mind. I see where this is going. Exactly. In the South, a couple can be any number between two and five. Yeah, there's a few problems with that. Yep, and speaking of that, a few is any number between six and almost a dozen. Okay. And a dozen is 12. Finally. Uh, unless we're at Krispy Kreme, then it could be 24, depending on the type of deal they're running. I mean, you're not going to pass up a buy a dozen, get a dozen for a dollar, are you? And there it is. Mm -hmm. And anything more than two dozen is just a whole mess. A whole mess of what? Uh, no. That's it. This makes zero sense. Plum out. What? You just said zero, and the, the scientific term is plum out. That is not science. Back talk me again, and I will move your possum from the trash can to the road. Okay, thank you, maybe? I don't, is, is that a good thing? Go ahead, pull out your calculator, I'll show you how this works. <laughs> okay. Oh, it won't. And what does it say? Nothing. We, we haven't done any real math yet. Yeah, I know. In, in the top corner. Texas Instruments. Just wanted to make you aware of what region of the country calculators are being made. It's, it's here. Okay. Well, the back says made in China. So, you got a few gallons of tea. No, I don't. It's a word problem, Jimbo, okay? Try to keep up. Who's Jimbo? That's not my name. You got a few gallons of tea for your party, but there's a whole mess of people that showed up that did not RSVP. Now, how many of those people we'll get T. Okay, so the term word problem can be a little confusing, but it does have to contain some numbers. Watch me carefully. A few, okay, just making stuff up, divided by a whole mess. Now you, you pick the number. Okay, I, I don't know, uh, 200. A whole mess, some of which did not RSVP. Why didn't you use X? When given the opportunity to write a variable, you should go with the whole monogram. Okay, I don't know what in the Alabama sorority you're talking about. Maybe literally the craziest thing I've ever heard. Okay, 0 0.045. There it is, bingo. Bingo, that's what you call this number. No, that means it's the right answer. How many people get T? 0 0.05 people get T. That, you, you divided by the wrong number. Turn it cattywampus. You just gonna start making up words now? You know, tump it over. Still not using real words. Give me that. Shoe. Sh shoe? Or... You know, go on now, get. What, what is that? The answer of the people that did not RSVP, how many of them will get tea? None. So shoo, go on now, get. This is easily the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Well, now you've done it. Your possum just went from playing in the trash to in the road playing dead. And if you talk out again, it'll be more than just playing dead. Wait, am I the possum in this scenario? That, that sounds kind of like a threat. All right, time for shapes. This is a plate and this is a Thanksgiving plate. How long is this class? Mm, all the Dollar General stores. Now, how many is that? <laughs> oh my God. No. <laughs>